A woman walks to a stream carrying a baby in her bag. She leaves her baby on the floor and tells her to stay well behaved because she's going to record a couple of videos. Her baby suddenly gets carried down the stream. She doesn't notice it. A woman washing her clothes by the stream sees the baby approaching. Her desperate son says that he can't believe it. His mother says that she's going to try and rescue the baby and swims towards it. She manages to rescue the baby and swims back to her son. She manages to hand the baby to him but fails to get a grip on the rocks and ends up being carried away. Her son is shell-shocked and decides to look for help. He approaches the irresponsible mother and asks for help. The stupid woman rudely asks the boy what he's doing with her baby. The boy says that his mother risked her life to save it but got carried away by the stream. The irresponsible mother says that he's exaggerating because she's sure his mother is safe and sound. The boy cries for his mother. Days later, the irresponsible mother appears to continue with her irresponsible antics. This time, she goes to the bushes to get footage for her social media, leaving her baby unattended once again. Meanwhile, the young, motherless boy mourns the death of his mother whilst holding her last gift to him, a red book. He looks up at the sky and asks her to send him a toy from heaven. He says that he's missing her a lot. As if by magic, the boy finds a toy remote car on the floor. The faithful boy thanks his mother for looking so well after him. He picks up the remote and says that he needs to get some batteries first. Meanwhile, a fire starter is getting ready to set the bush on fire, which can possibly toast the irresponsible mother and her daughter. The boy envisions the spirit of his deceased mother and tells her that he can't wait to play with the RC car she gave him. The spirit of his mother asks the boy to help the woman who's in danger. The boy gets the message and puts his toy car on the floor, and a remote controls it to where the baby is. He then approaches the baby and starts to play with her. A man spots the baby on the floor, and the twisted fire starter sets fire to a cardboard box in the bush. The fire starter walks away. Right behind him, a police officer is standing. He asks him for help, and they go to check on the baby. By the time the man approaches the location where the baby was, he only finds the cardboard box on fire. Desperate, he calls on the irresponsible mother and asks where the baby is. The mother says that she doesn't really know what happened. The young boy suddenly approaches, carrying the baby, and says that he saved her just in time. The father and the mother thank the boy for saving their baby. The boy says that it's okay because it was his mother who asked him to save the baby again. The father asks what he means again. The mother says that the boy must be confused or something. The boy says that he really means it because the first time his mother saved the baby was when she saw him going down the stream. The irresponsible mother tells the fuming father that it's not true. The father says that he can't believe she risked their child's life because of her stupid phone. The officer says that they can review the cameras if they need to. The fire starter approaches and hands the father the footage on his phone. The officer watches the footage and says that it's very clear that the irresponsible mother committed serious offenses and will have to pay for them. Both the act of neglecting her own daughter and also putting the boy's mother at risk and consequently murdering her for refusing to help. He takes the neglecting mother into custody. The spirit of the deceased mother watches justice being done. The father retrieves his daughter from the neglecting mother's hand who protests the outcome. The father says that from now on, he's in charge of his daughter. He says that he hopes she rots in jail for what she has done. The neglecting mother says that he can't do it to her, but the officer takes her away. The father thanks the motherless boy for helping him. He offers to look after him to show how grateful he is to his deceased mother. The boy asks if he's sure about it. The man says that, of course, he is. The boy joins him and starts to play with his daughter. From a distance, the spirit of the boy's mother waves at him and sends him kisses before disappearing into thin air. Mobile phones and useful tools, but not an object of worship. The excessive use of it can trap us into it, keeping us further from the connections that really matter in the real world. Sometimes it's important to disconnect to connect. Don't wait for tragedy to strike before taking action.